In today's video, we're going to be talking about chromatic scales. There we go. So to help with this video, I have a uh, virtual piano from virtualpiano.net. And if you uh, go to their site, you can play with it as well. You can hear this. can do this virtualpiano.net and I have a couple of other sites um, where you can uh, uh, get information as well. So uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is an octave. An octave is basically where the pattern starts repeating. So if you have this note 25, an octave of, above would be C37. So all these notes in between are within the same octave. Um, the standard frequency, uh, that's the pitch or whatever, is 440 uh, hertz or beats per second. I went to uh, Wikipedia and this is what it sounds like. That is the A440. A440 is a pretty important um, whoops, a pretty important A, 440 hertz. Now if you go up one octave, that'll mean the next note will be 880 hertz. If you go down an octave, so this is going up one octave, and it's an A, if you go down, to the A, uh, it'll be half of 440 or 220 hertz, and so on. I'll show you on the uh, virtual piano. That's A, they called it A34. Now if I want to go up an octave, that's A80, and I guess that will be A1760. Now. That's A440, A220, and A110. That 110, 220, and so on. Those are the frequencies of the notes. So a scale is all the notes within an octave. So for example, if this is the C that I pick, the octave above would be here. So the note for one kind of a scale, called a major scale, except you wouldn't include that last C because it's part of the next C scale. Um, so it's all the notes within an octave. In this video, I'm going to talk about the chromatic scale. Now, the chromatic scale is a very important scale because it's a building block for building other scales. It has all the notes. If you understand all of the notes in the chromatic scale, then you can use that chromatic scale to build other scales and you can figure it out yourself without having to memorize. But let's start with the chromatic scale. So we'll go C. The next note is C sharp. You see the first note up here is C25, C sharp 26, D27, D sharp 20, 28, and so on. And then you start the next cycle. If you want to see what it sounds like, that is what a full chromatic scale sounds like. The interesting thing about the chromatic scale is you can start it on any note. Let's say I want to start it on D sharp. So all the notes in a chromatic scale, are always, no matter which note you start on, you have to get all 12 notes in the chromatic scale. Now for you, um, any of you who are, um, who are math geeks, 
the way um, to go, let's say, from A, which is 440, so, whoops, 440 hertz, to go to the next semitone, you have to multiply by the 12th root of 2, which is equal to approximately 440 times uh, 1 point, hang on, 1.059463. And that will get you, uh, that will get you um, to the, the frequency of A sharp. Now every time you go up from, from a note, from note to note, so let's say you go A, that's 440, A sharp, you multiply by 1.059, blah, blah, blah. You keep multiplying every time you go up. And when you get up to the top, you will get to a number that's very, very close to, um, very, very close to 880 hertz. And that's essentially how it works. Now, this isn't always how it works in music, but it's close enough uh, to be useful. And it's actually quite true with the piano. Um, so, uh, once you have all the notes of the chromatic scale and you know how they work, you can, you can construct any chromatic scale and, and start learning how to play it. Um, this will also help you identify the notes because you can see any of the notes and you can see the name up here. So if you want to learn the chromatic scale, just start on any note and, uh, and, and start working it. Eventually you'll become more and more familiar with all of the notes in, in the octave and from there you can start building uh, your scales, your other scales like major, minor, harmonic minor, melodic minor, pentatonic, and there's a bunch, there are a bunch of others as well. But let's start with the chromatic scale. Once you get that chromatic scale, you have the building block to, uh, to understand other scales. So get out your virtual piano or your real piano and have some fun. <laughs>